Let's talk real today, baby. We ain't gonna bullshit with it. Give you a few minutes to get in here. Before I go shave, I woke up with this shit on my mind, my heart. You know what I'm saying? Good morning, kings and queens. Peace and blessings. Nothing but love to y'all. We're going to talk some real shit today. So I'm going to get about 200 people. Mel Cross, what up, king? Probably get about 200 in here. Let me get about 200 in here. Go share. Tell people to talk, to come in. Because we're going to talk today. Because I see all of these things. People under my posts. I see a lot of shit. And this is a real good topic to talk about. But we got to talk facts. I don't want to talk bullshit. Because everybody, you know, just want to go with the status quo. I don't want to do status quo. I want to talk facts about some real shit. About what's going on with this Jay-Z, Kaepernick, NFL situation. Like, I want to talk for real. I want to talk for real. And I might even bring somebody up here to give me somebody that, that, that is willing to debate me about it. You know, if you feel somebody that's willing to debate me, I want to have a real conversation. I haven't seen what Jason Fritz said. What did Jason Fritz say? I've seen a lot of people. I've seen Ed Reed. I've seen my boy Sean King. I've seen Ebro. I've seen Jamel Hill. Um, I've seen a lot of people's comments. But I just want to only talk about what we, what, what, where the facts are here. Like, I want to talk about the facts. We almost had 200. Let's get to 200 today. Because I want to talk about facts shit. I don't want to, I don't want to go off emotions and ride in a wave. I don't want to do that. I want to talk about what really happened here. Like, from day, because I was here from day one. Okay, so we had 200. So what I want you to know is like, I've been here from day one. When you look at the first Kaepernick outside the NFL headquarters, my song was there. My song was with the Justice League and, and um, the Gathering for Justice, who was, was one of the people who called for the boycott, who went outside and called. We were working with, we were working with Kaepernick. We were alongside these people. So I want to talk about real shit, you know, from the beginning. So what, what I want, I want you to understand is, a lot of us sacrificed a lot of this shit. A lot of us went up against major corporations. A lot of us. Organizations went up against the NFL. We got kind of blackballed from certain shit. We were we were leading other people against certain shit, you know. And a lot of us were vocal. I was using my platform every day to talk about the NFL, and I lost friends. I I called out some of my friends for being for being at games for supporting the NFL. Like from the beginning, people. I need people to watch this. I need people to pay attention. I was there from the beginning. I sacrificed a lot of shit for years. For years. We didn't sacrifice what Cap did, but we were with him. We right were with him. And as the years went on and we still we with Cap and we rolled with Cap and we still and mind you, I'm still with Cap. But I want you to understand that Kaepernick got a, a Kaepernick got a settlement. For undisclosed amount of money, in which that point he got this his settlement, and I guess part of the settlement was a gag order, right? Which left a lot of us on the fence. A lot of us were sitting here saying, "Yo, so what do we do now?" There was no communication with organizations. I work with the Justice League. I work with the Gathering for Justice. There was no communication. With any of these organizations who were frontlining alongside him, nobody reached out to us. Nobody said, yo, this is what we're doing. Thank you. We're happy. Thank you what you're doing. This is the next steps. Nobody said a word. Kaepernick got a settlement. I just want you to get this. Kaepernick sued the NFL, saying that there was a conclusion that, um, Kurt, whatever I forgot the could I forgot the word, but saying that they pretty much conspired to not get to get him hired based on his protests and he was able to prove or whatever. He took a settlement. Now I want you to understand what a settlement is. A settlement means that rather than going to trial to prove what it is that I know that they did wrong to me, in which I keep my rights to speak up 
and talk about the injustices that go on in the NFL. Kaepernick took a collusion. Kaepernick took a settlement, meaning at that point, he decided that he wanted to give up his rights to be vocal about the shit that they did to him in the NFL. He, I believe he had, he had information, he had proof. He took a settlement. And then when he took that settlement, he never notified us. I don't know if he notified Jay-Z and said, hey, this is what I'm doing. Now, Jay-Z at that time had turned down the Super Bowl because he was with Cap. Jay-Z was vocal. He was wearing Kaepernick jerseys everywhere. He was calling the man an icon. He was saying he was behind him saying everything. Yo, this is what's going on. I'm with Kaepernick. I'm with him. I'm with him. He's an icon. He was with him. I seen this. I visibly, because I was on the front lines of this whole boycott. I was there. Kaepernick took a settlement in which that settlement limited what he could say. And it was for his financial gain. It was for his finances. He took money based on what he felt he was entitled based on what they did to him. I don't know the amount of money. I don't know the amount of money, but he took money. He took money. And a lot of us who were on the lines with him were lost. We didn't know where. And this is real. I'm not going to throw nobody's names, but these are real people that was in this movement that was pushing with him. A lot of these people ain't saying nothing now because they don't want to go against him. And I don't want to go against him, but I just want, I want the facts to be known. I want us to be real, real clear about what happened here. So Kaepernick made his deal. Eric Reed went back to the NFL. The NFL hired Eric Reed. Eric Reed has a job in the NFL. Right? So Kaepernick took this deal for whatever. But at that point, what you say, when you take a deal, when you come to a conclusion and you say, okay, I'm taking a settlement, it means that you're not going to take, you're not willing to take the um your case to trial and would you keep your rights to speak up to continue to speak on behalf of what's going on that's illegal inside of the NFL right that means that you gave up your rights you said to yourself this deal right here is worth enough for me not to continue to talk about what's going on in the NFL so at that point Kaepernick did not notify any of us. Now, we on the front lines working with you. Now, you, you felt probably felt you didn't have to. You This was your shit. You doing what you doing. You continue doing. You got your, I know your rights, Cam. He got his Nike thing. Like, there were financial things in which the man was able to make finances. Jay-Z said, you know what? I'm not, I don't need to go to the Super Bowl. Wrapped about it. I, I don't need the Super Bowl. You need me. Tell the NFL we had stadiums too. He was with Cap. So I want, I just like, I, I want to give you real perspective because I don't want the, the whole shit about somebody's a sellout or who's not a sellout. I want you to see perspective. Let's have real perspective here. You know, let's have real perspective. You can say fuck Jay Z, you can say whatever, but I want you to have real perspective here. So now, Kaepernick signs a deal. He gets his money. He signs his gag order. He can't really speak on this. So now, where does the who does the work, right? So now I want you to I want you to be clear about this. I believe that Jay Z should have gave him a call prior to this deal. Do I think he should have? I believe he should have. But do I think that Kaepernick should have called us, organizations, and Jay Z, and said, "Yo"? Thank you for all you did. This is what we're doing, but now we're still moving on. We got a plan. Do I think he should have did that? Absolutely. Did I think he had to do it? No. Do I think morally would have been the best thing to do? Yes. Do I think along that, you know, notifying people who you know have been alongside you, organizations who have supported you from the beginning to give any type of heads up? Yes, I believe he should have did that. Did he have to do it? No. But that's the same way I believe about Jay-Z. So when Jay-Z looked and said, okay, Eric Reed is back in the NFL. Kaepernick took his deal, signed his deal. 
So where does the work happen now? Kaepernick, now Kaepernick situation is he wants to get a job back in the NFL. How is he going to get a job back in the NFL? Somebody got to be in the NFL to help with that situation. Now, you not going to they not going to hire you to be a part of their um social justice and be an NFL player, Kaepernick. I I I mean, I wouldn't. If you trying to be a player on a team, you saying you still ready so you still have ambitions to get back into the league. You took your deal and you have ambitions to get back into the league. Jay-Z negotiates his situation for social justice. He sees himself, okay, the, the work still got to get done, though. Who's doing the work? Who gonna, who's going to transform the NFL? Because there's still racial practices that that um, that um affect black people that nobody's addressing. Those things are still going on inside the NFL. So who's going to attack those issues? Who's going to make sure that this shit don't happen again? Who's going to make sure that, Cap, that what happened to Cap didn't happen? Having a Kaepernick again. Who's going to do that? Right? So, I can see everybody's... I can see everybody's point of view. I get it. You th- you would think it would be better if he reached out. I think so, too. I'm not taking that away from nobody. Say, yo, why you didn't reach out to him? But to call a man a sellout and to say that he went in for a bat, I don't think Jay-Z needs the NFL money. I just don't. That's just my personal opinion. Maybe y'all know more than me. I don't think that Jay-Z needs the NFL's money. I don't think it was about money for him. I think at this point in Jay-Z's career, just move, watching the moves he's making, that he wants to make sure that he puts his people and people of color and marginalized communities in positions to be better. In positions of power. I, I think that's where he is in his mind state. I don't think it's about no money for him. I think he feels this is an opportunity to get power in the NFL and to be able to dictate policy in the NFL and to be able to change things around in the NFL. And he moved in there. He, I think he took what Kaepernick did to the next level. Whether you agree with me or not, I get it. I get why some people look at the situation. But what I say to people right now is let's see what, let's give the man an opportunity. I don't like, I don't like the fact that they they feuding either, because I'm still with Cap. I'm not watching the NFL. I don't give a fuck what Jay Z go do. I'm just never gonna watch the NFL again because for me it's just like Gucci. And that's another thing we talking about. A lot of you, this is what I want to say. Two things. Most of the people that saying they mad at Jay Z is still watching football. They never stopped watching football. They've been with the NFL. They watch the halftime show. Like this is the shit that pisses me off. You getting up here talking about OJ this and that. Most of y'all never was did anything with the boycott. Y'all never was boycott. Y'all never was part of it. There's a lot of people that was never part of it that I see it. I'm like, come on. You know what I'm saying? Like, <clears throat> and the same thing happened with Gucci. A lot of these people I see talking about, oh, they did this to Cap. Oh, this is fucked up. Is in was in the same rooms. With Gucci, when we call for a boycott, like, uh, like if this is the, like this is what I want you. Like, I want to be realistic. I want to talk facts. Like when we call for a boycott, because it was me, Tamika, Ti, were the first people saying "fuck Gucci," boycott Gucci. They called a lot of people that I know into the room to mute me, to combat me. To stop me, to quiet me, to to give them more validity. To they put more black people, and I didn't get no settlement. Nobody sat down with me, and I came up, and I got a settlement, and I moved on. No, to see, to see you see the difference. I never got a settlement. Me, Tamika, Ti, Tiffany, Lofton, um, who else? It was a bunch of us there. Like we had a whole organization, but none of us got no settlement. They didn't give us no settlement. Nobody sat down and talked to us and said, yo, this is what's going on. This is what happened. Boom, boom. What, what y'all want to do? And we said, all right, we're going to take this and we're going to do this. No, they never, they supposed to have us in the room. You man, that but they lied to us. Got on the phone and said, yeah, I'm bringing y'all to this meeting, this and that. And we're going to sit down. We're going to talk about social Because we called for a boycott. We literally called for a boycott. 
They had people in the room to discuss a boycott that we called that never called a boycott. And they came up with an agreement about a boycott that they never called. They utilized my black people to try to mute me. So I, let's just be, I just want to be clear about this shit. And I see some of these people every day and I don't have a problem with it. I'm still doing what I'm doing. This is just real shit. Like, like let's have real conversations. Most of these people talking about the NFL when we was when we said, yo, people said, oh, keep that same energy that you did with Big Boy and them. No. The problem with Big Boy was that we were all boycotting. Kaepernick hadn't got any settlement. Eric Greed was like there was a, a live boycott. Kaepernick was still vocal. He was still he was still able to speak on behalf of what was going on. We knew where we were. Big Boy and them wasn't going in there to do no social change. They just was performing at a fucking halftime show. They went up there to just get let people see them sing and dance. That's not what Jay is doing right now. That's not what Jay is doing right now. What Jay is doing right now is going in to be a social justice, justice component to where he wants to make change. To where he wants to put blacks and Latinos and people of color and marginalized communities in position. And if he's not, then I'm going to call him out. But until he showed me something, if all I see this whole year is a bunch of niggas on the field playing and Jay-Z done put together a halftime show, I'm calling Jay-Z out. I'm going to call him a sellout. Love him to death. Think he's one of the dopest artists. But if I do not see any real change within the NFL... Based on this deal that he signed, I'm calling him out. But I say to myself, based on the work that man's been doing, based on the track record of the work he's been doing in this social justice realm over the last few years, I'm going to give that man the benefit of doubt. I'm going to give him an opportunity. Do I like the fact that him and Cap were going to? No. Do I like the fact that he didn't reach out to Cap prior to it? I probably would have. I think he could have did that better. But do I like the fact that Cap never reached out to anybody of us after he got his deal? After he signed his whatever unclosed, the, the fact that he's been silent for the last probably six months and never give anybody any direction and said anything. And the first thing we see is him saying he's ready to play. I don't know what deal he signed with the NFL prior to that. I don't know if he sat in the NFL and based on his deal, they're going to hire him back. We don't know shit. Nobody knew anything. And these were, and, and people are organizations who were trying to work with him? Who were trying? Who were on the front lines? Who were putting our faces and bodies out there against major corporations that were able to blackball us? Like this is real shit. Like people say, what's going on? But this is what happened. We were on the front line with Kaepernick. Look at the first Kaepernick protest in front of the NFL headquarters. We were out there. We were out there every day. You know, and Cap, when Cap got his money, people was like, okay, this shit is over. Cap never said, no, we still boycott the NFL. And Reed got, it's, work, it's working for the NFL, his best friend. That he, he says, well, I love you, this and that. It's on the NFL team. So I'm, I, I want to know how confused you think all of us are. I just want to know. I was out there. I don't know who nobody was. I was out there. You can go look at the tapes. I was in front of the NFL headquarters. I was there. So don't tell me what nobody was there. I was there. You know, so I just want to understand. Kaepernick still wants a job in the NFL. He can't boycott the NFL. He's still trying to get a job. He can't even say anything. About what's going on in the NFL. So who's going to go inside and make the change? Because what happens is we boycott. And who's going to be at the table to make the change to say, yo, this shit can't go like this. You know, do I think it would be better if him and Jay-Z was together? But I just want to figure out how that was going to happen. Kaepernick's still trying to get a job as an NFL player. And Jay-Z's going there trying to dictate policy. The NFL player, they're not going to bring the nigga who caused all the problems and, and all this shit back in there to play and dictate the policy. You got to choose what you want to do. And then you got to let us know. 
Don't wait till after the fact and say, oh, yo, I was still, I, I, I still, you know, I'm still doing. You didn't let none of us know, Cap. I love you. Listen to me. Kaepernick is an icon. Kaepernick is one of the most realest. What he did was second only to some shit that Martin Luther King or Malcolm X would have did. You know what I'm saying? And I stand with him. But when you make a sacrifice, it's just that, Cap. You made a sacrifice. You might have sacrificed your opportunity to play in the NFL so that people that come after you don't have to deal with what you deal with. So that the people that come after you, you might have changed the complexion of the NFL. And should you and Jay-Z work out something to where you probably compensated based on the fact that he's in the room? Absolutely. I think that should happen. But to say that the man sold out, that went in there to do change, the man that sold you out, that was standing by you, that was vocal, who had the, one of the biggest platforms in the world. I mean, that, I think that's unfair. You can take it how you want to take it, y'all. If that's how you feel, I just think it's unfair. I just think it's unfair that to watch somebody who's done work, who you've seen what he's doing with Meek, you see how he was vocal about ASAP, you see how he got um, 21 in the mind. Like, you watch, I've seen, I, I personally know that he finances Trayvon's mother. Like, I've personally watched what he did with Khalif Brown. Like, to see what he's done in the social justice movement and how he supported a lot of shit, I personally know, personally know these things. To see that happen, and then um, him going into a situation which may may seem, you know, a little fishy to people because of the way it happened. But we're not looking on both ends of the spectrum. We're not looking at both ends of this. We're not looking. Yeah, I just want you all to be honest with me. When Kaepernick got his money, did y'all think that the boycott was over? I just want to know, when Kaepernick got his money, did y'all think that the boycott was over? Because I did. Nobody told me otherwise. Ed Reed is playing. Kaepernick just got a deal. People are like, oh, Cap got his deal. Did, he went radio silent. Nobody heard from him. Did y'all not think that the boycott of the NFL was over? I'm just asking. Because I did. I did. And if you didn't, why didn't you think it? Who told you it wasn't over? I mean, I, it was over for me because I'm not watching. For collusion. Okay, so what I want to understand is this. If you sue the NFL for collusion, right? You sue the NFL. You take a deal. You don't sue them. You don't go all the way to trial to where you keep your voice and you're able to stand up against the injustice because what happens is when you take a deal, that means that you give up your rights to really speak on what's going on. I, I've done it. I've done this before. You know, so most people thought it was over. Like, most people thought it was over. I'm, I, just, I just, I just want, I want to have real conversations. I'm on the front line of this movement, my nigga. Like, I'm out there every day. I'm sacrificed. I got to argue with my niggas, my mans, and them from the battle rap. Um, who was it? K. Sean, bunch of them. They went and did the NFL. They was rapping at the NFL. I called my niggas out. Called them out like, yo, we, we trying to do something. You niggas up there rapping. They utilizing y'all to, 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 to mute our shit. I'm calling my niggas. I'm getting to real squat. Me, I'm running up into my niggas. We having face-to-face -face arguments and shit. They like, yo, Mike, that's fucked up. We don't know. I'm calling niggas out. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm taking this shit for real. If you look at the last three years of the Super Bowl, look on my page and see who was the main nigga boycotting. Look at it. Look at our organization. Look at the Justice League and the Gathering for Justice and see who was boycotting. I was one of the main niggas. Our organization was on the front line of this boycott. Nobody gave us a heads up. Nobody said, hey, this is what Kevin niggas doing now.
Yeah, we know that he got his deal. We know that he he just got a settlement. But this is how we moving forward. Nobody told nobody nothing. So I don't know if they told Jay that. But I know from his perspective, he might have been looking like, okay, they got a check and replaying, but the work still need to be done. Roger Goodell said, I'm like, yo, we need to, the work still need to be done. He probably said, yeah, we paid cap. You know, we, we got the settlement. We want to move forward. Oh, oh, so y'all gave him his money? Okay, he seen it on the news again. Captain called me and said, yo, I got my money. Oh, fuck that. We got our money, but we still boycott. Like, I'm just, I want to understand. So now he still wants a job, and, and maybe he deserves to get a job. But his goal and what Jay is trying to do is two different things. You want to play in the NFL, and you prob- you deserve to get a job. You're better than most of these quarterbacks. But now, when, while you're trying to get a job, who's going to get a change? Who's going to really change the policies inside the NFL that prevents you from getting a job? I just want to know. If he didn't say it was over, he never said it was on. We called the boycott. He took a knee. We boycotted. The us listen to me. We was with the look who started the boycott, man. Go like look who started the boycott. Who was on there with him, Ryan with him. He didn't even notify none of us. The first I'm with Cap shirts. We made those. Stand with Cap, nigga. All them T-shirts. Justice League made those. So I want to understand what's going on. I want to understand. So, what? In closing, I just want us to be clear. You don't have to like. You don't have to like what Jay Z did. You can feel that it's something that you you don't like. Because I think it could have been done better. I think, in all honesty, he could have called him prior to this and said, Hey, Cat, we about to work this deal. What you think? Because if you're in communication, I think that it warranted that. But I also think when Cap got his deal, the major players, major people that was on the front line that was saying, Yo, I'm not going to perform at the. The, the Super Bowl, the, the organizations that were riding with him, organizations that were doing these actions, these boycott things, should have got a call and said, hey, so yeah, you, even though we got this settlement, even though Ed Reed is still playing, we're still doing this. Give us some direction. Because we didn't have none. We didn't have any. Most people that I spoke to thought that the boycott was over. Who did he call? I'm just asking you. Who did he call? He called who? Cause he didn't call my. He didn't um, call my organization. Nobody called. We couldn't even get people on the phone. Like this is just real. And, and once again, I'm still with Cap. I'm still not watching the NFL. But I just want to know who did he call. When did they say the boycott was on? When you heard them say the boycott... If you heard that somebody was boycotting because they couldn't get it, and then you heard that they got a settlement for some money, what would be the obvious thing that you think unless they tell you something otherwise? Ed Reed is back in the NFL. Kaepernick got money and signed a gag order. And we don't hear nothing from nobody. I'm just want. I want to like. I don't want to talk bullshit. I don't want to do status quo and these niggas telling you. I'm talking about facts. Had these niggas talking about it wasn't boycotting. They were still watching the NFL. I know that for a fact. Had the niggas that's on here talking about this is wrong, this and that. Had these niggas were still at the NFL games. Had the people talking about it is still wearing Gucci. That backdoor me, not just niggas in the room with Gucci. Have, they use niggas that I know to sit in room with Gucci to try to mute my my protest. I don't want to hear about this shit. I know this game. And I didn't get no settlement. We didn't get no fucking settlement. 
We stood on for our black people. We stood up for what was right. And other black people sat in the room and said, no, we're going to make this right. Never brought us to a table, never gave me, I don't know who they called. Nobody never called my phone and said nothing to my son. My son is one of the main niggas still doing a Gucci protest. My son is one of the main niggas still doing an NFL protest. And nobody called me to say nothing. So if you want to have real Eric Reed, I'm sorry, Eric Reed. So if you want to have real conversations about real shit, let's talk about the facts. Be mad that you don't like the way that Jay-Z did something. Cool. Say, yo, you could have did it better, my nigga. But to call somebody that's doing the work he's doing, a sellout, it's just ill. It's, I think, it's wrong. Now, what we got to see throughout this year, what happens with this organization? What type of social justice happen? If all we get is a good motherfucking halftime show, then call him a sellout. If that's all we get with this deal that he made with the NFL, it was a good motherfucking halftime show and no real changes, visible changes implemented within this NFL to show some shit, then call him a sellout. But until then, give a nigga opportunity to do the work. Cap did his job. He nailed, he brought awareness to the situation, and he got paid for it. And hopefully, somebody will give him a job. Hopefully, Jay can sit in that room and say, yo, based on this situation, y'all probably need to give Kaepernick a job again. Hopefully, he can. Or maybe he can't. Maybe that's the sacrifice that Kaepernick made so that his kids don't have to go through what he went through. That's what greatness is. That's what being a leader is. That's what being an icon is. When you reach, When you get that icon status... Is because you made a sacrifice. And a sacrifice means you might have lost something.